An amateur ballerina who lives in Los Angeles was arrested last month in Russia and is facing charges of espionage. Russia's Federal Security Service says Ksenia Katalino was raising money for a Ukraine charity, something Russia considers treason. Carolina is a dual citizen, but the U.S. State Department has not been able to get in and see her. We will continue to try to work to free those American citizens who we have determined to be wrongfully detained, and we will continue to call on humane treatment for everyone. U.S. Ambassador Lynn Tracy did get to meet with Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gerskovich, who is also charged with espionage. He was in court Tuesday and ordered to remain in jail until his trial next month. No American citizen should con consider traveling to Russia for any reason period, because they are at risk of detention. Americans are in Russian custody at a time where tensions between the two countries are on the rise, especially following the death of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny while in prison. Katalina's former mother-in-law says she's afraid what happened to Navalny may happen again. We know it wasn't just a death, it was the murder. Former President Donald Trump was asked about Navalny's death during a Fox News town hall. Navalny is a very sad situation and he's very brave. He compared Navalny's legal custody to his own legal problems. I got indicted, I never heard of being indicted before. I was going to. I got indicted four times. I have eight or nine trials. During a campaign stop in California, President Biden slammed Trump for failing to condemn Russian President Vladimir Putin for Navalny's death. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. Biden administration says it will issue strong new sanctions against Russia on Friday for both Navalny's death and its continuing war in Ukraine.